You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Uh, well, uh, Malik Kelly said that she uh, is just so tired of racism. You know what that means? No. What is it mean? <laughs> Obviously, you don't watch this show enough. <laughs> Folks, roll it. No charcoal girls are alive. I'm not a new I'm white. I got you, huh? Yeah, um, illegally selling water without a permit. On my property. Whoa! Hey! Hey, remember. Give me your head. You don't live here. I'm uncomfortable. All right, folks, this is the 11-minute video. We're not going to play all of it, but a black man was trying to just throw out the damn trash. And some crazy-ass white woman rolled up on him. That's like... I'm sorry? What are you trying to say? I can't throw away the trash? You can't throw away your trash in our bed. Yes, I can. No, you yes, I can. Could you please leave me alone or I'll call the police? You're harassing me. You were harassing me. Thank you very much. It's 911. Okay, I will. Got a racist lady here. <laughs> That's yep. a big mistake on your part. Oh, okay. Call. Look. Throwing away the trash. You know, you will be instantly famous. Hi. You'll be instantly famous. You know that, young lady? Come on. Here, let me close the door for you. See how much a gentleman I'm being for you? Guess Florida. Class, you're excused. What's Thank your you. name? What are you doing? Please. Here? You're excused, ma'am. You you're work harassing here? me. You are harassing me. I will call the police call the if police. you don't leave. Okay? Call the Thank police. you. What is your name? Mark. Like show me your know. license. Do you live here? Show me your license. Show me yours. Show me yours and I'll show no. you mine. Wow. This is Florida, folks. Yeah. Here we go, Martha. We have to pay Zero extra boots. for people to come clean okay. out. And we pay extra, too. All right. Why do you think I, why do you don't think I live here? Because, because of the way I look? Because... Why? I, until two weeks ago, I was president of the Homeowners Association. Okay. And to my knowledge, I know everybody who lives here. Okay. That's the only thing. So why did you assume that I don't live here because you don't know me? Because there's only 42 buildings. Only 42 buildings. You knew every single person in 42 buildings? Where do you live? Huh? Do you know every single person in 42 buildings, man? Thank you very much. I rest my case. Do me a favor. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stop with the fake laugh and just go. All right. It's not a fake laugh. I think it's Enjoy your day. Funny. I mean, we have this happen all the time. Uh, Kelly, this is an 11-minute video. It's not until a white female neighbor comes out and goes, what are you doing? The guy lives around here. And the woman backs the hell off. Uh, this guy, first of all, if I was him, I would call the cops on her ignorant ass in the first two minutes. But this is literally the harassment that black people have to deal with just for being black and just for throwing the trash out. How much of a life does this woman not have to mind the business of someone else doing something as simple as taking out the trash? Like, and she tried to prove her point or, you know, justify her questioning by saying that she used to be a uh, president or whatever, the home association, and it's like 42 or so buildings or homes in that area. But one, she said former, which means that you don't need to know this information anymore. You don't have the right to ask this person anything about your neighborhood anymore because it's none of your business anymore. And then secondly, you're telling me that you know 
the owners and residents within 42 uh, establishments in this neighborhood. I find that in extremely hard to believe, especially considering that she really couldn't even give us a reason as to why she was asking him um, about his business in the first place. So she just needs to go on somewhere, you know, back to her home, um, one of 42, and just mind her business. It costs absolutely nothing to mind your own business. It, it is free. One of the few things in this world that is absolutely free. Just do it. Leave people alone. It'll help Teresa, you out. It, it was trash. It was trash. It was and she literally was blocking him. She was blocking him from driving away. It's a disgrace. Uh, it looked like the woman wanted a confrontation. She wanted to um, exude whatever power she felt she had. Um, I actually found that a bit shocking for her. I think she said she left the um, homeowners association as she was president at that two months ago. I can only imagine the decision she was making as president because um, she pretty much knows all 42 residents that, that are in there. And what it sounded like to me, she was basically saying there was nobody black on the roster, right, until she left. And then some African-Americans moved in which is really unfortunate. Um, it was, again, this is what we have to deal with daily. What we have to do is keep doing what we're doing, horizontally showing their ignorance, and hopefully it brings a bright light to a better solution for a safer tomorrow. There are going to be more stories like this, Malik, and the bottom line is because you got white folks uh, who want to use their white privilege to harass black people because Essentially, they want us to be like in South Africa, show our papers to prove we belong. Well, I think you said that the, the, the clip was about 11 minutes for me. Yeah, it's 11 minutes. Yeah, so probably about nine minutes too long for me, um, because after two minutes, the police would have been called and it would have been a lot of other stuff that you would have seen or heard on that video than the niceties that he actually extended her because there would have been no opening of there would have been none of that if it were me so my at that point her ignorance would have been met with my ignorance and it would have been a different scene but i mean you know we continue to see these things it's unfortunate good that it's on camera good that her face is all will be all over television as it should be good for her got her absolutely all right boy hopefully uh she has a job she'll lose it it's finally black and apply for it all right folks back to that role mark unfiltered video in just one moment all right folks it's the holiday season this is when you think about spending time with family and friends this is also when you count your blessings and support those less fortunate this year be a holiday hero and change someone's life forever Right now, hundreds of thousands of Americans are sitting in jail without being convicted of a crime. Why? Because they lack the financial resources to pay their bail. Now think about it. If you are arrested for any minor offense, you will be taken directly to jail. If you don't have bail money, you will stay there until a court date is scheduled. That could be days, weeks, or even months. Simply put, America's bail system is broken for people of color. Freedom should be free. That's why the Ebony Foundation has partnered with the Bail Project and is sponsoring the Home by the Holiday campaign. The Bail Project has helped bail out thousands of people over the years. And with your help, they plan to get 1,000 people out of jail by New Year's Day. Now that, of course, would be a great holiday gift for many families. A donation from you today can change someone's life tomorrow. Now that you know the people of color represent upwards of 90% of the jail population across the country. And without bail, nearly 90% of those charged with misdemeanors pled guilty. Now, however, uh, with paid bail, less than 2% received the jail sentence. Sometimes justice needs just us. To join the fight, you can donate 25, 50 bucks or more to help the Ebony Foundation bring our brothers and sisters home by the holiday. To donate, go to homebytheholiday.com. That's homebytheholiday.com. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.